Alvarez is the favorite. What are the chances Jacobs pulls off the upset, Tracy? Well, with boxing, boxing is a type of sport, one punch. Yeah. Turn everything around. One punch. We're not looking for one punch. You're going to put it together and stick to the game plan. But that's the thing about boxing. You know, you, you take boxing, boxing more than the NBA. Boxing, listen, this is what it is with me. Yeah. Boxing is what cavemen do, did. That's hand to hand combat. That's the beginning of everything. Sports come from boxing. Hand to hand combat over this meat. We just, I just killed this deer, <laughs> and we're going to fight over this deer. That's what cavemen do. So you're at the most primitive, the, the bottom line when it comes to boxing. That's why I love it. That's why I love it, because it's a thinking man sport. Daniel Jacobs um, is a good puncher and an excellent finisher. So, you like, go. to your point. However, if you look at Canelo Alvar Alvarez's career, Mayweather just about shut him out. One judge had it a draw. He, he said had, he was young. He had a close, but I'm saying one judge had it a draw. There's no way it was a draw. Both fights against Triple G were close. The first one, he probably lost. Canelo got the draw. The second one, you know, maybe he won, maybe it was a draw. Canelo got the win. Errors Landy Lara, Austin Trout, both fights were close. Canelo got the decisions. The judges like Canelo. So Daniel well, Jacobs, I, I think, has to knock him out to win. I was at that fight with Triple G in Vegas. I was there, and... um. <clears throat> It was a damn. It was a good fight. Good fight. Both. It was of them a good were. fight. Yeah, they was throwing haymakers. It was fight, and it was like they was in the phone booth. Those are the type <laughs> of fights I like. Yeah. In the phone booth, but then you gotta have a strategy too. Mm -hmm. You got defense, like I said about any sport. Offense wins games. Defense wins championships. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm looking at with the Knicks. Got to play. We got that defense. And once we Yo. lock it down, and I got my man, Money Mitch. Mitch Robinson is in the middle, and there's a presence. You're not coming here. He got a New York attitude. You're not coming in this middle. Can, can, so I ain't gonna can, get hurt. And I can love I get, that. Can, old I, school can I get back to? Can I get back to the boxing match real quick? Because I sure. want my position clear. I'm worried about Daniel Jacobs. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm worried about Jacobs. I like him a lot. Um, I think he can box. He's got a good punch. All the things Max pointed out are accurate. Here's the thing: because we know that Canelo will probably get a decision. I think Jacobs has to come at Canelo. Max, you know what an exceptional counterpuncher that Canelo Alvarez is. He's, he, he's made for that. And what I learned in that particularly that second fight against Triple G outside of him being an absolute body snatcher, he's got that chin down, he can take a punch, and my God, can he give it. And I hey, think that yo, Steve, I think Mexican that Jacobs being come. taller. They keep and coming. I, I, I think I think that well, that's not Canelo. He's not dumb. He's very very smart, and he's a counter puncher. And I think Jacobs is a bit taller, more exposure with the body. Him knowing he's got to come to take him because he probably wouldn't get a decision. It could put him in trouble. That's well, my worry. Fight. But I think Jacobs lines, can Stephen win a. by decision unless he gets caught because he has gotten clipped before in the past in 2010 when he got knocked out. Yeah, although he may have had cancer already. Yes, he may have had cancer. When exactly. Was a, div was a good exactly. puncher at middleweight. That's a big deal. I'll, I'll take you back to 85. Donald Curry, Milton McCrory, wow. welcome yep. unification fight. Yep. <laughs> Curry, the shorter fighter and a good Donald counter Curry. puncher. McCrory stuck out the jab and Curry countered with a left hook. And then McCrory gets up right hand, ended the fight. is basically a one-punch knockout, two-punch knockout. That was a good fight, too. That kind of thing, you're right. Daniel Jacobs has to be on alert for that kind of counterpunching, pinpoint counterpunching. And, and you're also right, Stephen A., he knows he's going to have to win decisively to get the decision, putting more pressure on Jacobs maybe to open up more than he ought to. But if you saw the Triple G fight, Jacobs is a disciplined fighter. You know, if he fights a disciplined fight and stays behind the jab, this is really a 50-50 kind of fight. Max, but Canelo, real quick, Max, Tracy, Canelo proved, if nothing else, he's faster than Triple G. And so right. the Daniel Jacobs that you saw against Triple G, as powerful as Triple G was, and that jab was exceptional, and he's a damn good boxer. The reality is, is that he's a bit slower than Canelo Alvarez is. Canelo has more speed to counter what Daniel Jacobs may come at him with. So it's a very interesting fight. But well, it we can go, wait, I mean, because we Jacobs wait is not Triple G. Two different fighters. I we agree. don't know what's going to happen in that ring. We don't. Canelo showed also he's very versatile Canelo's against Triple G. Canelo's going to fight different. G. 
Canelo, Canelo showed you he can fight. He became, he's become a better aggressive fighter, cutting off the ring and coming forward as more of a classic kind of Mexican, I'm going to snatch your body punch. type puncher. He also do, does the James Tony against the ropes where he can roll with punches and counter very well. Canelo has developed from like a real, real good prospect as a teenager to a great is, champion as, 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 as right now. Is, but my question is, my question, guys, my question, guys, is can, trip, can Jacobs take a punch like Triple G can because well, Canelo's going to hit him. That's, that's to be question. seen. That's to be seen. We'll see that that's in the first round. That's my question. We'll I'll see tell you that in the first round. Jacobs took Triple G's punch pretty well. He got knocked down once, and he was kind of off balance, got up, and never went close to going down again and gave Triple G a real close fight. Yeah, he did.